What is going on, guys? This is Kanas T3890 here. Welcome back to an episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise. This is episode number 19. Year 2024. The last five years we have made the playoffs and we have not gone out of the ALCS. We're going to do in the regular season this year. We have a stack team. Walker Bueller, Jack Flirty, who we didn't re-sign. Shelby Miller, who's a, in a free agent. No, I can't remember if he's free agent at the end of this year or not. Um, Campos, Nate Pearson's a rookie. We're giving him a chance. He's 27 years old. He's finally made it. Bullpen looks pretty solid. Nothing crazy other than Archie Bradley for overalls. We'll see how Feltman does. Lineup is stacked. Only change we made last year, we traded Scope, a bunch of different moves to save money, and we got Mike Cutler, a guy who can really field, kind of run, even though he does steal a lot of bags, but he doesn't have good like, attributes. Can hit for contact, gets on base, good defense. He is a free agent at the end of the year, so we're going to probably lose him. But that's all right. We'll try to win this year. Vlad hit 50 home runs last year. Can he hit 55, 60? That would be fun to see. Got some studs leading off. We are the number one ranked team. We have a couple. We have a couple top prospects. We have the number uh, three and the number ten prospect. We have a couple extra picks for losing some free agents. Let's get into the season, boys. See how we do. Last year we won the division. Hopefully we can win the division again. Hopefully we can uh, have home field throughout the playoffs. I want to make sure our best players are playing. I don't care about Aguila. Okay. I do not care about that kid. He's like 25 and he's like a 60-something overall. Even though he does have an eighth potential. But, man, we're not scoring many runs. I, okay, now we're scoring. I was going to say, our offense should not be an issue. Nathaniel Lowe got traded for uh, not a whole lot. He's only an 82 overall. I'm kind of shocked that came up in the uh, trades. Speaking of which, Durbin Feltman, who's a reliever for us, who is pitching pretty solid. Daniel Wright. Um, no. Feltman's cheap. <laughs> Philip Kaneko and Ryan Benjamin. So two first names on Ryan. Okay. From Michael Perez. If he's a C, uh, B potential, I'll do it. He's a C potential. I am good. Thanks, but no thanks. Sean Manea got traded for Anthony Rendon and uh, Jose Baricio. Or Brisano? I don't know. Manea is pretty good. Four years of team control, too. Jake Bowers got traded for uh, Blake Trahan and Dan Vogelbach. Whoa! And then in this trade, and I see Christian Yelich, but he's only an 82 overall now. A lot of trades so far. And another one, Peter Hudson, who is an A potential. But I don't love him. But he is an A potential for Andres Morales, a catcher, who's an A potential as well. Can really field. The thing is, we have Reese McGuire, who can really field and hit. He's struggling this year. And then we do have Herring, who we got in a trade. Actually, I don't... I'm going to say no to that. I actually don't remember what Herring's uh, potential was at catcher. I don't know if we checked. 94. Nice. All right, so we are at the draft. Walker Wheeler's been great. A 2.87 ERA. Jack Flaherty, 3.7. Shelby Miller has really struggled, though. A 4.7. That's two runs higher than it was last year. Campos a 404. Nate Pearson as a rookie, a 415 ERA is not too too bad. Slattery had the bullpen's been good. Miller's been alright. Feltman's been good. Scott's been okay. Denton's been great. RG Bradley's been great. So that's not bad. Bruno's hitting 329. 10 home runs. 20 stolen bases. Gets on base. He is a star. Rudy Brennan, 253 average, only 10 home runs. Does get on base though. Vlad is struggling big time. 239, only 15 home runs. Luke Hudson, a 303 average, 15 home runs for the uh, second year player. Brandon Belt, 279, 7 home runs. Eloy's got 10 home runs, 265 average. He does get on base at a solid clip. Tatis, another solid year. Cutler's in 314. I might have to move him up to the number two spot. I don't know. We are winning the division by six games. Take a look at top prospects. We have the number three still. Pirates have some studs here, too. Doug Adidas continue to improve. Sean Ramirez is at nine. I don't know what to do with Ramirez. Like, we don't have a spot for him. He'll probably get traded. I don't know. We're going to need a new second baseman. We'll figure out what to do in the offseason. He might be a trade ship. But let's get into the draft. We have the 26th pick in round one. Holy, because, yeah, there are so many... There is so many. Uh, this is competitive balance. We have the 16th pick here. 
Round two, we have the 15th pick. Compensatory, there were so many signed free agents last year. We only have one, but we lost two. Competitive balance round B. There's another pick there. That's interesting. Yeah. They might not even have enough picks. Uh, drafted uh, eligible players in this draft. Ooh. Kind of like Jim Johnson. Don't love him, but I like him. This guy's already 24. Carrillo's already 23. He's going to take five years. That's just way too long. Oh, okay. Good contact fielding. Average speed, average power, great vision, discipline. Damien Stoddard is my leader in the clubhouse for a draft pick. Uh, Brooke Ka. Eh, jack of all trades, master of none type of player. I don't love those. I'm probably going to go with that second baseman. Or was he? I went by him. There he is, Damien Stoddard. We'll see how could I mean, if he can hit, he can field. Get on base as a second baseman? I mean, what else? I mean, yeah, you could, you would love power at second base. You love power at every position, but at second base. And look, Brooke Cott was probably the guy I was going to look at. He's still available. Welcome to the team, Brooke. Or the franchise. You're not going to be on the bigs for a while. Um, Let's see. These are 75 potentials. Elite fielding and speed. I'll take Willie. I mean, I think worst case, he could be just our bench speedster. And uh, let's see what else is available. I'll take this closer who's 25, but he could be ready in like a year or two. Yeah, he'll be 27 or so when he's in the bigs, but as a reliever, that's nah, fine. Um, all right, I'm not going to take these 70. I'm going to take some shots in the dark with these 80 overall. 80 potentials that are not scouted. I found some studs. Um, I was streaming uh, not too long ago, and I drafted a uh, – and like the we guys were – if you were in the stream, let me know – um, but we drafted a like 90 something potential in like the fifth round, which is pretty impressive. All right. Um, let's see. I'll take uh, Lyle Gonzalez. I'm not sure if there's gonna, we're going to have a pick in the fifth round. We, there may not be enough players to draft. Nope. There still are. Will we have a pick in the sixth round? Nope. They ran out of picks or players to pick. Let's see how we did. Oh, there's some studs here. You can't see them. My face is blocking it. Now, Stoddard, unfortunately, only has a 79 potential. He still, though, could be a big leaguer. We'll see. I mean, if he goes to a B potential, he could hit a little bit. We'll see. Brooke Ka has 89 potential, though. That was a good pick. Now, he's a big-time project. He's only 18 of 48 overall from South Korea. But you know what? Let's just put him in the minors and play. Feliz. He has 87 potential. You can see he can fly. He can field. If he can ever hit, he could be a really good player. He's a 58 overall. Andrew Knapp, that 25-year-old closer, he's already he's only a 64 overall. He doesn't have any potential, but yeah. Uh, Louis Foster, 59 overall, 74 potential, nothing too crazy. Raul Castillo, 90 potential on this kid. 90. You can't see it. My face is blocking it, but it's a 90. Um, 20 years old, 75 overall. Throws left-handed. I like it a lot. Lyle Gonzalez has a 71 potential. Uh, Jose Peralta, shortstop, has a 72 potential. And that's it. So, I mean, we got one 90, so one A, and we got three Bs, two high Bs. Nothing crazy, but we weren't picking high. Ooh, this guy looks good. And he throws lefty. He's probably a reliever, though, even though with that potential. Anyone else? I oh, went 90 there. Closer. I'd love to see if there's any 99s. There we go. Frank Navarre. He is a project. He's already 21. But he might shoot up an overall. Any other 99s? or high? 90? Crap. The Red Sox drafted in 96 potential. That sucks. <laughs> How did the Rays do? I know when we checked them at one time, they had like the worst draft of all time. Another bad draft. 76, 83, I'm looking at potential. 67, 70, 70, 67, 72, 76, 61, 60. Like maybe they should hire a scouting department. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All right, let's continue with the season. Like I don't have to worry about them. They're going to be bad very soon. <laughs> Greg Allen got traded to the Red Sox for a Cedric Mullins, who's currently on the Roy uh, Royals, Orioles. 
Tony Randa and Cody Senga. All right, we are 58 and 31. Pretty good. Eric Hosmer is going from the Padres to the Giants for Dylan Cousins and Pavin Smith. Abraham Ochoa got traded for Jordan Adams, Sam Sang, and Brian Brown. Okay, some trades. And we're on a little bit of a losing skid. I might make a trade at the trade deadline or two. Because I think we don't have to worry about making the playoffs. But uh, we, I'm tired of not winning the World Series. Carmine Rivera for Bubba Thompson. Uh, no. I like my boy Carmine. Bobby Bradley got traded uh, for Humberto Montalvo, Tyrell Milner, and Alvin. I don't know any of those guys except for the guy who got traded. The big name. All right, we're 71-38. and 38. We're 13 and a half games ahead of everyone else. How are we ranked second? We're first in pitching, first in power, second in contact, fifth in speed, 25th in defense. Who's better than that? Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know. Dodgers are pretty good. Delgadito is now the number two prospect in baseball. Okay. So Bueller's doing good. I'm okay with Nate Pearson as our number five. I'm thinking, do we get another bullpen arm? That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Bruno might be MVP this year. Look at that. Holy cow. Elite fielder, elite contact, average power, elite vision discipline, elite speed. He's only 25. He was our first draft pick. And he's been a, he's turning in. Like the last three years, he's really putting together like all star years. Rudy Brennan, okay. Vlad, 28 home runs. Hudson has 23. Brandon Belt's in 302, 15 home runs. Brandon Belt, guys, he's so good. Eloy, okay. Tatis is doing good. Cutler's in 301. What's his on base? 401. I kind of like him at the bottom of the lineup, though. Adds depth to it. Jonathan India, who's a top pick in this past draft. Is there like a reliever? Yimi Garcia? Two ERA. It's limited action, but if I trade... Feltman straight up would do it. He is a free agent at the end of the year, so it's kind of just a rental, but I feel like that helps our bullpen out. And it just we got better. We took on money, but we got better. And we still have two lefties. So I'm okay with that. So let's uh, finish the season and see where uh, how many wins we get. Can we get 100 wins? We have not gotten 100 wins yet with this franchise. Would be nice to do. And maybe get like an MVP, a Cy Young. I don't think we have anyone eligible for Rookie of the Year. Well, Nate Pearson, I guess, could get it. But I doubt it. And then I guess hopefully we can uh, finally get that ring. We already got 100 wins. 107 wins. Won the division by 21 games. How many wins do the Dodgers have? 100. So we have the best record in baseball. Big time. We have the number two and the number seven prospect. Or number three, excuse me. Yeah, I think I'm going to, he's going to have to just play in the bigs to get better. Delgadito. I don't know what to do with him, though, like... Who do we move on from? Sean Ramirez. Like, look at this kid. He's ready to play too, but he's more of a DH with his lack of durability and fielding. But he looks really good too. He's 23-84 overall. What else do we have? Uh, Texas has a bunch of prospects. Another one for them. Carmine. He's getting pretty good too. He's only 20. Damn. Herring, the catcher. He's moving up. Damn. We got Darius, a closer. He's improving. Ramirez is improving. How do we do for a team? Walker Bueller might have got Cy Young. He's a 99 overall now. A 2-4-3 ERA. Struck out 212 in 204 innings. A whip of 1.1. His war is probably like 6-ish. 4.7 actually. Not as high. Jack Flaherty, a 3-5-1 ERA. Not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. Shelby, he struggled early on, but finished with a 3-2-1 ERA. Campos, a 3-6-7. Pretty solid. Pretty solid for him. Pearson, a 4-3-9. I'm okay with that. I mean, he was making 300000 as a number five. That's fine. Slattery did all right as a long man. Bullpen. No one had an area above three in our bullpen, other than our long man. That's a really good bullpen. Bruno might have got MVP. 23 home runs, 41 stolen bases, a 323 average, a 399 on base, a 578 slugging, an OPS of 977. 
His stolen base percentage was what? 745. A war of nine. I would. I don't know. It, it, that's an MVP caliber season. Now, someone might have had a better year, but it's a very good year. Rudy Brennan, 283 average, 20 home runs, still 22 bags. A very solid year. War of 5.5. Vlad went down a little bit power-wise. Contact-wise went down a lot to a 243 average, but still a very good year. Luke Hudson, 275, 33 home runs. So the average improved. Power slightly went down. So, I mean, all in all, he did improve. I think Eloy, he had a very solid year. 30 home runs at 279. Solid, that's a good year. But he might be uh, close. We might have to move on from him because we got young players who are ready to play. And, like, Bruno and Brennan I like more <laughs> in the outfield. But, like, Delgadito is probably going to play over him, and he's really good. We can get a lot for him, but he's one year away from a free agent. Tatis, 271, 27 home runs. He's a very good shortstop. Cutler hit 286, 12 home runs. Kind of what he normally does. Plays good defense. A war of 2.8. Reese McGuire did struggle with the bat, but he does play elite defense. Which we're okay with that. What awards did we get? Seager got MVP. Okay, he hit 305, 43 home runs. Now, if he just like it wins above replacement or war, his was better than Bruno. Bellinger got in the NL, so some former Dodgers. Bueller got Cy Young, Urias in the National League. Bruno got the batting title, and Cody Bellinger. Reliever of the year, 63 saves? Is that a record? Is that a major, major league record? I have to look that up in a second. Rookie of the year, Blake Rutherford. And Gavin Lux, who we traded. Had a very good year. Um, What other awards did we get? Maybe a gold glove or two. Nope. Uh, Luke Hudson got Silver Slugger at DH. We got it at third. And probably got one in the outfield. Nope. We broke a major league record. That's impressive. Most saves in the season. I don't think the save stat's that important, but we broke a record. That's pretty cool. So, next episode, guys, will be the playoffs. Can we finally do it? I think this is the team to do it. We will be playing the winner of the Red Sox and the Tigers. The Yankees aren't in the playoffs, so don't have to worry about them. I'll see you in the next episode, boys. Take it easy. Peace.